What's up everyone? Got a creation here. And today we are playing a new series I planned out called I haven't exactly planned a name, so we're gonna call it Mindbound. And if you're wondering what this is, it's basically a mixture of Starbound and Minecraft. And what this is exactly is basically it's like Starbound, where I start out in a little ship with no fuel, so I can't travel anywhere. We've got our little computer system. This is using the warp drive mod, by the way, with a mixture of uh, industrial craft and some computer craft there with the advanced computer. Um, so here are the rules. Is one, we're not allowed to use T-Construct. Let's go ahead and take the dullified stuff out. Um, number two is I'm not allowed to take apart the ship for any reason except to upgrade it. So there are only there's only two things I'm allowed to take off of the ship, and that's the chest and the bed. Everything else must stay on here. Um, everything else must stay on here. So basically, a warp drive works is I'm allowed is I can go into different worlds or dimensions using this ship. I've already set the dimensions, I believe. Uh, yeah, I already set the dimensions. So. Basically, I can use this ship to go anywhere in the world I want. And don't worry, I got this iron door so I can just walk out easily and I won't die and stuff like that. So, the problem is that in Starbound, there's these gener there's these fuel tanks where you throw coal into them and you start powering it up and then you can move the ship a little bit. And that's what we have here is these generators hooked up to these large wires. And I was told to use the insulated HV cables, which is hooked up to this MFV, which will send out these powers to these uh, air generators and also to this warp core which is what sends this ship moving so the only two items I'm allowed to take off the ship are the bed and the chest and I don't want to take them off right now so let's just go. we I need to fix so obviously I need to build a staircase later so we have the brick the bounty brick I can't remember I didn't look at the name clearly I kind of built this thing one night. Ah, I forgot some gold corners. Crap. Oh well. I guess it's not that important, is it? So, I think if I'm correct, if I put any changes into the ship, it will register, but I just don't want to take anything off because of uh, good reasons. So, this is using a heavy number of mods. One of them is uh, Bounties of Plenty, which is obviously a good thing. One of them is, another one is uh, Most Creatures. Pam's Harvest Craft, which let's face it, Pam's Harvest Craft is an awesome mod. Um, put these trees down. Yeah. All right. Got that going. I can hear zombies and spiders and crap and flipping goats and pigs. And Where's my piggy? There's my piggy. Alright. Oh, uh, this little fuck. So, if you're wondering what this goat is, basically, if I throw down an item, or. Flower child. That's another one. See? The goat ate the flower. That is a loud ass. I'm turning the sound down a little. Oh my god. So I'm currently using flint tools for the dullified, so... That's always good to have around. Um, Alright. So what we got? We got tin, we got lead. Alright. Um, what is that? Gravel ore? So, I'm aimed to making uh, some more furnaces and stuff to help get that ship going. So, aluminum gravel. All right. well, I guess you need something better than flint to mine it, so. Okay. Okay, so we'll put this. I may add portal craft to it. I may add the portal mod to this because let's face it, it's an awesome 
Portal gun would actually fit pretty well in this. I can't believe I forgot the two, damn. I haven't exactly tested whether or not the ship can fly, so just bear with me on that. Alright. So if it doesn't fly off immediately, bear with me. Alright. Uh, there is a lot of cows in the area. Bird. Lion that I don't want to get involved with. White roses. Which probably give off great eye, like the ones in 1.7 do. Which, if I'm correct, this is actually 1.6. Another lion! Get out of here, stupid bird. More lions! Why are there so many damn lions? Aren't you people supposed to exist in grasslands? Oh, that's a big cat. I don't want to mess with that. Hold on, I don't want to mess with that. Uh, that's a raccoon. I'm going to stay away from the big cat, because... They can turn from, like, uh, what is it, defensive to aggressive pretty quickly, so I'm not even going to mess with them. And if you know what defensive is, I've played World of Warcraft a lot, so bear with it. So, uh, this could understand a lot from the World of Warcraft fans, but there are uh, three formats to NPCs. What the? Oh, great. So, in addition to that, I also have a custom NPC, so I intend to use that in the future or something and that I'm not 100% sure of. Well, I'll think of something. Maybe I'll put, like, a guy on my ship that heals me every now and then. Or sells me, like, medicine. Who knows? I know that I could probably put like machine part a machine part shop down if I ever find a village. Come back your cow. I'm gonna no. rest. All right, I need to go collect some cobblestone to make a furnace. And well, I don't know. Black roses. Black roses. Well, those aren't exactly the black roses I remember from the original Fable game. It looks like weed. Can I smoke it? Bad person. I don't speak I got berries. Berry picking. Oh, berry picking good. Mm. I'm gonna wait. Uh, now that I think about it, I should convert these into seeds. Um, so why did I give myself the seeds I have? Uh, mostly because every time you start out, you get like wheat seeds, and then these two are because these are the hardest seeds to find in the game that are also invaluable. So, hey, why not add them in? I don't see the problem with it. Right, gravel ore. Iron gravel or no less. It's supposed to be a shovel. Canyon. Oof. Alright, well, I don't know. You are a loud ass! Where the hell did you go? That was a loud ass fucking bug. Oh, and it's still here. Uh. He's down! He's down! Oh, did they kill him? 
It wasn't a strong ass bug either. It wasn't strong. I killed him with like one shot. But then again, how much damage does this thing do? I don't know. I'll have to uh, figure that out later. So, let's go ahead and start collecting these salts. Um, Yes, oh, that's what I need to get this ship moving. Oh, if I can figure out a way to get back up to it anyway. Oh my god. Mm. So if I'm correct, Flint is really just a higher durable version of stone, so. Yeah. Same time where it's just works with stone all at it too. Ow. Die. I'm gonna die and I didn't set my spawn point out. Oh, what the? I hate those creatures sometimes. Ah, oh, what the? Oh, and it's the skeleton horn. Oh, and I'm different. Oh, I'm gonna die. I am going to die. I am going to die. I am going to die. I'm going to die. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm going to die. Wow, first episode, I'm already going to die. Okay, but why drop redstone? Okay, maybe not. I lost the ship. I lost the ship. I lost the ship, and now I'm stuck here. Where am I even? Um, oh, it's a kitten. Great, so I'm lost. I'm lost, I'm lost, I'm lost, I'm lost, I'm lost! And there are many, many mobs outside that want to eat my flesh, and I'm lost. Isn't there a way to, like, do the full map or some shit? This is just the saddest day ever. Like I said before, I didn't set my swan point, but that's okay, because the ship's right there. How do we get into it? I don't really know. Well, I haven't entirely figured that out yet. Oh, 
Oh god, it's not even the good zombies. There we go. Alright. Let's just, um... Okay, it's already died. Yeah, this is looking like Starbound already. Uh, I don't know. So let's just go ahead and start making our crafting stuff, so... Uh, and then the next thing I need is, uh... Oh, crud. Alright, well, whatever. Um. Die, you stupid angry- oh god, there's two of them now. Here, have your dead brother. I seriously don't understand the point of the- Look at you. Okay, um, let's go around a bit more. Uh, see what we can find. Um, chicken going to die. <laughs> I just realized I should give myself some torches too, because that was part of the starter pack as well. Eh, yeah, well. I did not learn. Um. Alright. So we got this going. We got this entire area. We just need to light it up. And maybe clear out some grass, so. If you're wondering what the bindings are, it's just blue slime. It's nothing too big. this thing being too close to the ship because um if it's too close to the ship then it'll just take the cobblestone with it and it'll just look weird so just bear with me so it's parkour make sure zombies don't be mobs can't jump so parkour <laughs> um all right let's go around They add like natural duck noise to it. Alright, let's go look around for more cobblestone. That stuff. So 
Oh, we got two redstone. I'm not sure what this is going to do for me right now, so... Um, because I said so. There we go. We're back on. We've got a zombie brain now, and my dog is barking in the background. For unknown reasons. He's probably trying to get me and Gwen out of her rooms. Alright, so let's use it, start cooking that. And then two coal at each generator and let's we'll start getting this thing getting power yeah power where's most of this even going to be? that's gonna prove difficult is it that's zero percent So is it the mold brick? And yeah, it would be a mold brick, wouldn't it? Mm. Wow. We're gonna need more power. We're gonna need solar panels and stuff, aren't we? Alright, well, I've ran out of ideas. I seriously do not know what I'm doing right now. So, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, subscribe. Be sure to um, check me out and stuff like that. Um, bye.